Hello. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create an account on the MyDEQ portal, how to link that account to a systems provider, and how to submit a GW2. The address for the portal shown here is portal.deq.virginia.gov. Here, you can sign in if you have an account or register if you do not. To create an account, you just need to enter your email, name, organization, and phone number, and then a password. Clicking register will send an email to the account entered. Clicking on that uh, link in the email will get you to the portal dashboard. This is the home page of the portal. To finish setting up your account, you can go to my account under quick links, edit profile, and you can add an address, which is a required field. Additionally, you can optionally enter multiple email accounts to have them all tied to this one account. The next step is to link this account to a systems provider. So scrolling down under records access and my access requests, you can click request access here or back at the dashboard under Quick Links, you can select Request Access. You need to select the program, which is Water Well Systems Provider. It is the second to the bottom from the drop down. Select Next. You then need to find your license number. Uh, you can search just based off of a few characters to pull up a list of all of them, or you can just search for your specific license to have that come up. If you don't have or if you don't see your license in this list, you can reach out to a contact in the Office of Water Supply. Or if you don't have that, you can select, I don't have this information. Select the same program, Water Well System Provider. There's only one record type, the Water Well System Provider license. And then just fill in what other, whatever other information you may have. And submitting this request will send an email to DEQ staff who will get back to you to resolve the problem. Going back, once you find yourself in the list, you can click select and continue. It will ask you what permission you need. Make sure all three of these are selected so that you can create and submit GW2s and then submit the request. You will see a green bar at the top indicating that the request was submitted and then going to my access requests You'll see it here with the status of pending DEQ approval. When an access request is submitted, it will send an email to DEQ staff, and they will have to approve the request. This can take from one to three days, but hopefully it should be quick. Once the request has been approved, the status will change to approved, and the account is now set up. Going back to the dashboard, to Submit a GW2, you can either click this Submit button or under Quick Links, select Find a Form. Scroll down to Uniform Water Well Completion Report. There are three options. New construction for new wells, abandonment for abandoning a well, and then modification for when a significant change is made to a well. Select New Construction in this case and Go. It will ask you your water well system provider license. Uh, this can only be license you have requested access to. And this is the new GW2 form. The format is different than NVA Hydro, but all the fields are still just taken right from the hard copy form. There are navigation tabs on the left to let you jump between different sections of the form. Uh, there's a save button at the top right. And when you finish a section, you can click the next section. I will bring you to the next tab and save the form. Required fields are marked with the red asterisk. 
if you move past them without filling them out, they will be highlighted in red, and it will put a red X next to the tab. If they are filled out, then it will put a green check mark next to the tab. Uh, additionally, some fields require a specific format, such as the DEQ well number. It shows it will only accept an eight digit number. So in this case, we would need 00, zero, 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 one, zero 002. I will not fill out the whole form in this video because the actual fields themselves have not changed. Once the form is filled out, once the GW2 is filled out, you can select the Review tab. This will show you everything you have filled out uh, in the GW2. Uh, and then you can click Next to submit the GW2. You can click View Submission to get to this page, where you can uh, print or download a copy. Going back to the dashboard, you will see an item in the Items Doing in Progress. Uh, it is a draft because there is a review period for GW2s. If you go to My Submittals, you will also see uh, the GW2 in there. Clicking the eyeball takes you back to the uh, submission page earlier. You can see the status is in review. While it is in review, you can click Revise Submission uh, to actually edit the GW2. Once the GW2 is no longer in review, you will not be able to go back and make edits. That concludes this video. I hope it answered any questions you may have.